y'all how the liquor store open it is 3:34. hold on hold on because i don't think y'all hearing me it is 3:34 in the morning saturday september 24th and the liquor store the duty-free liquor store is open before the food make it make sense it don't make sense bro what is up play gang got my mama in the cut hey <laughs> <laughs> it said, hey. <laughs> but y'all, as y'all can tell, I'm at the airport. <laughs> Alright y'all, so like I was trying to say before, before I was interrupted by the foolishness. We in the airport. <laughs> we headed to Amonville. But now y'all, we are heading to Jamaica. Heading to Jamaica. Waiting for a few more people to pull up. It's 5.57 right now. I feel like we're supposed to leave at, um, what time was my flight supposed to leave? At 8.45, no, 8.30. Well, first, at first, originally it was 8.45, then they switched it, and then it, was, well, then it was leaving at 8.30. And then recently, when we got here, they switched it. Now we're not leaving until, I think, 9.15, something like that. 9.20, something like that. But it is 5.58, and we are waiting. I don't know if I want to take a nap, stare at everybody, staring at me, or get on my laptop. I don't know, I'm gonna do something. I wanted to give me some Starbucks, but I kind of want to go to sleep. So, Starbucks gonna wake me up. So, I'm gonna wait. But I'm probably catch y'all back up once it's time for us to board. We still got like two and a half hours left, so. I'm gonna see y'all then. Y'all. So, I cheated on Delta with JetBlue, y'all. And I fell in love. I can't help it. I can't help it. It's crazy. We sure did. Yup. We just love Jet Blue. Sure do. Let them know, mama. Let them know. Here we get. Yes. Yes. And if you don't like Jet Blue, argue with your mama. Not us. Cause I don't care. Y'all like spirit. I like JetBlue. I like to stay alive. <laughs> Thank you. Go through customs so we can head to our shuttle and get to this whole no not hotel let me let me say it right this resort all inclusive all right thank you yo this is a long way to immigration Jesus Christ so we done made it through customs we done made it through everything we are in here waiting for everybody so we can go in catch our shuttle and head to the resort y'all Taco punch. That's good. So y'all, we just got to the 
resort. Got a taco punch. Oh. All right, you guys, we just got to our room. We are in room 152, the Hilton Rose Hall. We are here in the cut. I'm about to go in. So as soon as you walk in, turn around. Here is the door. Turn to your right. Here is the bathroom. Nice little sink. It's a cute mirror. There's me. Hey y'all. But nice little mirror. Lighting could be a little bit brighter, but it'll work. Toilet, of course. Basic shower. Nothing too crazy. Come down here. Come out of the bathroom. Keep walking down. We have the little closet area. There's mama. Got the safe, your hanger, you know, put your luggage at. Blase, blase. Right here we have our luggage here. We're going to put that away, so don't mind that. But this is what the room is looking like. So here we have double beds, of course. Mama get hers, I get mine. Nice size TV. These are drawers. You can put whatever in. All of these are drawers. I believe there's six drawers. And then this is where the fridge is. And because we are at an all-inclusive, so they restock these every day. These are all included. We don't have to worry about being charged for any of this. So whatever we take they replace best thing about being an all-inclusive so you don't have to worry about any of that i don't know about this beer though that beer gonna stay there because i don't drink beer but everything else yeah definitely will be attacked got your glasses your cups um your ice holder if you want any ice you come here little table lamp coffee maker of course but we definitely won't even use this because we're at a whole resort and we're gonna go get coffee it's a connecting room unfortunately but hopefully we don't hear nothing on that side nice big space right here we got a nice picture of the beach and i believe this whole thing opens up actually so we have like a whole big picture window kind of thing going on it, it's storming out there right now y'all so i'm still gonna go out there and show y'all but this is what the patio my mom has a walk out got a walk out room come out here let me close this back come out so we have a nice little lounge chair here a little table here um they have the little you know blocking Sep the separated divider to separate us from the other cabanas well the other rooms and it is pouring out here right now y'all so we can literally walk out to the beach they have games over there we can literally walk out to the beach we don't have to worry about anything let me give you an overview of the room again the birthday lady there is the birthday woman right there period poo went back to the room took a shower got dressed now we're about to go find some food because we hungry. So yeah, we at the seaside grill. This is what the menu looking like. Yep. I'm Seaside Grill. So y'all, of course we starting it off. Well, this is actually number two. But I got me a tequila sunrise. Mama got her a Bob Marley. And we about to see what happened. Good morning, vloggy vlog. It's a new day. It's Sunday, September 25th, 7-11 in the morning. Just got up, came outside on our little patio just to soak in some morning views. It looks like it's gonna rain, but we about to go ahead and get ready for breakfast. It is 8.41. Me and my mom just got finished getting dressed, but we got on our bathing suits. I have on my bathing suit, my cover up. Um, we about to go eat breakfast. Last night, I don't know what I vlogged. I don't know how I ended up the vlog yesterday. I honestly don't remember. All I know is we went to the pool. 
I didn't get in, but I'm gonna get in today. We went to the pool, um, and then we went to dinner last night, ate, and then we went to this club, well not a club, we went to this lounge called, I think it was Lounge 2727. So we went there, like around, I wanna say 10-ish. We left like almost two o'clock in the morning. That was lit. We got turned, we got lit, it was fun. Um, we got back here at the resort like two something. And then, as y'all can see, I got up at like six something. So, getting ready to go to breakfast now. Last night was a vibe. Today, I think we're just going to eat, chill by the pool, and figure out what we're gonna do next. I'm waiting for my mom now. She is so slow, y'all. Like, oh my God. Like, I'm trying to go eat. Baby, I am trying to go eat. I am hungry. And she taking 5,000 years. Look at mama, y'all. Look at mama, y'all. Period, 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 period. Her birthday is soon. It's low-key raining. Like, it's spritzing right now. So, I'm really hoping. I'm not really not trying to get my hair wet, but it's looking like it might. But y'all, literally, we walk out of our room, which is right there. That's our entry, exit way, whatever. Walk out of our room, and breakfast is literally right here. So y'all, we're coming in this coffee spot right now, getting some coffee. I went to this little coffee shop that they got at the resort, right? Um, I saw they had a caramel frap in the menu, so I said, say less. You know, I love me some Starbucks. I always get a caramel frap when I go to Starbucks. So I said, let me get a caramel frap. Let me see what, what Jamaican caramel frap tastes like. So I got my caramel frap, and I'm like, oh, can I get a straw? She said, we have spoons. So, y'all, that's different, bro. I'm really eating a caramel frap out of a cup. That's fire. I'm so used to Starbucks. I said, you know what? Get it together, Elena. We in Jamaica. We in a whole other country. Things are different. But this is definitely different. But it tastes good. So, shout out to, shout out to Shorty that made it in the coffee shop. But we about to head to the pool now. I'm not taking my camera. I'm going to vlog off my phone if I do any vlogging at all. Because, baby, this trip is really relaxation. I'm going to get some content. But I'm not doing too much, too crazy. Next time I come back, I'll definitely give it, like, a full-on content kind of thing. But, yeah, we about to go to the pool. So, I'm going to hit y'all when I get back. Or, like I said, if I vlog from my phone. Good morning, y'all. I'm at breakfast. rain is blowing mine bro like so i came down for breakfast had breakfast it's been raining ever since we got here y'all it's low-key blowing mine but it is what it is i mean i'm still relaxed still enjoying myself but this rain is blowing mine it's blowing mine blowing mine okay what's up you guys so it is about three o'clock we me and my mom actually came back to our room and they did decorate the room for her birthday her birthday is wednesday september 28th so we just came back to the room and these are the decorations it's not too much but it's so cute so they put balloons here um they put balloons right over there they put balloons at the edges of the bed and then they put up this cute banner that says happy birthday so that was so cute she also has a cake um we're gonna probably have a cake when we go to dinner at six um today is actually my god sister jakai's birthday so she just turned 21 so today is actually her birthday so all of the birthdays they um we're gonna have like a little birthday dinner so we are now heading to dinner we're in our all white as y'all can see, I got my all white on. Mama got her all white dress for her shoes. Y'all, I am the white shoes, so I got black shoes on, but who cares? My outfit is white. My bag is black, but my outfit is white. <laughs> Look at their cakes. 
Heard it, heard it, heard it, heard it, heard it. Heard it, heard it, heard it. So y'all, it's 11.31. I'm still hungry. So order some room service. I got a cheeseburger. I really wanted me two glizzies, but they ain't got no hot dogs. So had to give me some cheeseburger. Good morning, vloggy vlog. It is now Tuesday, September 27th. Um, the rest of the people that we are here in Jamaica with, they are going home. They're going back to New York today. Um, their shuttle comes to pick them up at 6.10. So me and my mom about to go downstairs, say our goodbyes to them. But I had to come on the camera, y'all. I had to get on the vlog and show y'all. Look at this. This is absolutely, absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. So I'm actually about to walk over here really quickly and show you guys like i said it's almost six in the morning it's 5 40 something right now so i'm actually about to come over here and catch this sunrise for you guys So y'all, we are now heading to walk around the resort a little bit. We got some time, so we're about to, we really haven't explored the resort at all. We've just been to like the basic spots, the restaurant, well, the buffet, the front. Like we ain't really walk around around, so we're about to go do that. See what's popping with the Hilton Rose Hall. Period, mama. Period. 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 Y'all don't mind my little Period. thing up here. That's just, you know, it's hot. I need my edges to stay down. Me and my edges in the heat, they not like this. So, yeah. These are crazy. I gotta come on here and say, we ain't have sun like this the whole time we've been here, bro. We've been here since Saturday, September 24th. It is currently Thursday, September 27th, and we have not had sun like this since we've been here, okay? I am out here enjoying the sun, baby. Let me tell you. First time getting a coconut. It's crazy, y'all, when you see it on YouTube all the time, but you never get one. Okay. <laughs> Fresh coconut. Fresh coconut. Natural. Yes. Mm. That's good, y'all. Wow, I always thought it was gonna taste different. Fresh water. Good. That's cool, y'all. We are officially the last ones on the resort, y'all. Everybody done left us. What's your name, brother? Everybody done left us. We're the last ones. Sugar Mill Falls, y'all. This is where the waterfall and the pool and everything is. I already came in the pool like twice, y'all, but I didn't record it because, of course, I didn't want to get my camera wet. So, but this is what the pool is looking like. It's a vibe, y'all. They got the swim-up bar right over there. And they got the whole big water park. Not water park. They like the slide and everything. We walk into this little um, ramp kind of thing going on over here. I'm trying to get us some, some dope pictures. Love it, love it. <laughs> yes, got to a love dress. I can't even see because these glasses are like bright as I don't know what. But we're about to get us some beef patty with cocoa bread. So I'm probably gonna order me a drink. Your girl got her beef patty with cocoa bread. Sitting by the beautiful water. Mama got one too. About to kill this, y'all. About to kill this. Morning, vloggy vlog. It is Wednesday, September 28th. This was the day. OG Lay. I mean, 
a bit late, mama was born. Hey. <laughs> it's her birthday. Happy birthday it's her birthday. Happy birthday. It's her birthday. <laughs> Breakfast this morning. Goodie vlogging vlog. Yeah, I've been doing a terrible job vlogging this whole trip. <sighs> Like a terrible job. I show y'all. So this is where we are eating dinner at for mommy's birthday. We are here at the rum factory at the resort. I show y'all. So this is the first appetizer. This is the bacon wrapped shrimp. I think. Yeah, bacon wrapped shrimp. And I got my drink. I don't remember what the drink name was, but y'all, this is what I have been waiting for this entire trip. Okay, I've been waiting for my oxtails, bro. Child, this all I can eat, y'all. Cause baby, when I tell y'all this thing spicy, and Elena don't do spice. I ate most of it though, so I'm proud of myself. Cause I would've stopped at the first bite, y'all. But I ate most of it. Here we go. You can sit. Born in the middle. When it's number five, we're guessing that chair with here we go. Number one. Number one. Number five. I didn't say you say you are our winner. What's your name? Kathy or Oliver. Come on, make a nice number. Kathy, everybody. Good job, Kathy. Good vloggy vlog. It is 11:33 at night. We ended up Mama's birthday. Yeah, I didn't end the vlog the whole entire trip. Who cares? Oh <laughs> Who cares at this point? Y'all gonna get what y'all gonna get. Cause at this point, this vlog was terrible. This whole vacation vlog was horrible. It's all right. I got more to make up for it. But I just wanna say to the people, Mama. <laughs> Happy ending birthday. Period. Period. Okay. Technically, it's over back in New York because <laughs> it's already yeah, it's twelve. It's almost already one o'clock at home. Yeah, it's, it's, it's tomorrow okay. back home. Yeah, it's already twelve thirty. Here so my in, birthday's over. Here Have in fun. Jamaica, it's still her birthday. Yes, so, yes. Yeah, see the balloons but fill up. Yes. we about to make sure we got all our junk because we leaving in the morning. Yes. Team. Yes. But we get ready to crack the champagne. That's facts. We gotta crack the champagne we bottle. The champagne. So I still got more traveling to do, y'all. <laughs> I don't know if I'm recording or not. We're going to see. But I'm going to hit y'all up in the morning. So, peace. I'm back for a second. <laughs> because. <laughs> the way my mama just popped this shit. Y'all, I'm sorry for looking so rough. I, I promise y'all I'm so sorry for looking rough. Y'all don't see me like this. <laughs> but the way my mama just popped this, this champagne. What the freak? Y'all been in Jamaica too. <laughs> I said the champagne. The, champagne. <laughs> the way my mama just popped the champagne. <laughs> Stop. You said champagne. I've been too long. But y'all, the way my mama just popped the champagne bottle and just scared the living daylights out of me. Alright, vloggy vlog. So it is officially 12 o'clock. It is 12.01 here in Jamaica. And it's no longer mama's birthday, but we still celebrating period because she celebrates all September. Right, mama? Period, but we about to call it a night. We have to be up at 6. Our shuttle comes to take us to the airport at 6.10. So we need to be up at 5 o'clock. Ready downstairs. No later than like 5.45. Can't get breakfast in the morning because the breakfast don't start until 7. They played us, but it's okay. It's cool. We got muffins. It's cool. It is what it is. About to call it a night and I'm about to get back with y'all in the morning. Show you how our hectic traffic day is about to go. I'm not ready, but it is what it is. We gotta get to where we gotta get to. Hopefully, maybe, I'll let y'all know in the morning. Peace. So long, room 152. Y'all, we leaving. Look at the beautiful outside. I don't wanna leave. <laughs> Goodbye, 152. Until next time, okay? We're at the airport, going home. 
Uh, so y'all ain't no nothing look like it's open yet. We're in the airport walking to our gate. It's a pretty view, y'all. Gorgeous view. Hey you guys, so it's Future Lay here. I'm sitting here editing this Jamaica vlog now that you've just watched and I hope you guys enjoyed it. But I know you guys saw that I didn't end off the vlog, which technically I really didn't even end off any night throughout the entire vlog. But listen, like I said, I I literally did a horrible job vlogging that Jamaica trip. I'm gonna do a redo, so don't even worry about it. This trip was more so just relaxing. I wanted to vlog more, but I was really just basking in the moment enjoying my time so forgive me but i will make it up trust me but anyway so i said you know what let me explain to you guys what happened after this clip as to why i didn't record and why i did not pick up the camera because baby let me tell you i was irritated i was heated i didn't want to be bothered that entire day just went completely wrong okay so i'm gonna break it down as simple and as fast as possible for you guys hope y'all catch up <laughs> so we were going from Jamaica back to JFK. Then we were catching a flight from JFK to go to Wilmington, North Carolina. Now, mind you, Wilmington is not a direct flight. So from JFK, we still had to make another stop. And I believe it was in Virginia. So we had to make another stop in Virginia and then from Virginia to go to Wilmington, North Carolina. But that wasn't the issue. The issue was our flight from Montego Bay to JFK. Now, our flight was supposed to leave at around 8.45, I believe, in the morning. That didn't happen. We got delayed um, until I think it was like 9, 9.15, 9.30, something like that. Which was fine. We said, all right, that's only like 30, 40 minutes. That's not too bad. That's not, you know, cutting into our time to catch our second flight. Boy, were we wrong. We got on a plane. Everyone boarded, whatnot. Why did we sit there for another hour? We didn't leave Jamaica until about 10, 10.15. So, I wasn't really thinking too much of it because I still figured, you know, um, being that Jamaica was only like three, three and a half hours from New York, I said, all right, so we leaving the 10th something, we'll still get back to New York like around one. Tuh, I don't know what I was thinking, but I was way off. So, the pilot comes on and he actually tells us that he has to go a different route because of the storm. So, they added another hour, hour and a half to our travels. That right there... I think that is what really set my mood. That's what set me off. But I said, you know what? I'm going to trust the process. I'm going to keep the faith. It's going to be fine. Hopefully, by the time we get back to JFK, um, our second flight might be delayed as well because of the weather. So, I was like, you know what? Everything is going to flow smoothly. It's going to, you know, it's going to work. Cap. So, we got to JFK. It was like 2. I want to say it was like 2 o'clock. It was 2 something we got back to JFK. We literally had to go from one terminal to the next terminal to get to our flight. Let me explain how that worked, okay? We got off the plane. First of all, you know how slow it is to get off the plane, okay? Everybody and their mama stands up, and then you got the people that's all the way at the back of the plane who running up to the front to try to get off. Like, no, absolutely, wait your turn. Like, absolutely not, you're bugging. So, that was a whole process to get off the flight. Mind you, we're rushing because we know we have to make our second flight, which that our second flight leaving from JFK to go to Wilmington left at I believe 345 but they were boarding at 315 because you know the flights board 30 minutes before a takeoff 315 so we had until 315 to get to that gate got off the plane then we had to go from the plane we had to go to the tram to take us to the other terminal by that time it was already I want to say 240 250 ish 
I knew it was over, but I just didn't want to think it was over. But I knew it was over because there was no way that we were going to get through TSA, get through security all over again within 15, 10, 20 minutes. And just our luck, what happened? We come from off the tram, turn the corner, boom. Now we have to go through TSA, all of this, all over again. And the line was stupid long. So right then and there, we knew it was over. So we weren't really too mad. We were like, all right, we missed the flight. You know, it's it's terrible. But I was already looking, both of us, me and my mom were already looking on the app to see what other flights there were for us to catch. So there was a, I believe a six, I believe there was like a 6.30 flight later on that day that would have taken us, you know, from JFK to um, Wilmington. So we were down for that. We were ready. We were cool. We went to the customer service line. Let me tell you, that line was so freaking long, okay? We waited in that customer service line for three and a half hours. We stood in that line and waited for three and a half hours and ended up still missing that second flight that we wanted to even, that we wanted to switch and try to get on. We couldn't even switch our flight from the app and do it ourselves, so we had to stand on that line and wait in order for us to try to get that flight. By the time we got to the lady at the desk, it was we had already missed that second flight for us to even switch to. So by that point, me and my mother were both irritated. We were pissed off. We had attitudes out of this world, okay? Mind you, we almost got into it with this lady that was online behind us because people nowadays don't know six feet. They don't know space. Do not stand this close to me on a freaking line like don't be all up on my back i hate that that is one of my biggest pet peeves is when i'm standing on line and someone's all on top of me all down my neck while we on line like back up bro this line ain't moving you don't have to be all up on me bro like back up but that's besides the point once we got to the desk um we asked the lady if there were any more flights you know that we can take that night that'll still get us there you know that thursday night she said no. She said all they had was something like flights for Friday, but those flights didn't leave until like Friday afternoon, almost like Friday evening-ish. So we still would have missed all of Friday with our cousins, which made no sense. I wasn't trying to just fly for like one day and then come back home because our trip was supposed to be from that Thursday when we left Jamaica. We were supposed to go from Jamaica to go to Wilmington, but our cousin trip was from that Thursday to Sunday. Had we taken that Friday flight, we probably would have got that Friday night. We would have wasted all of Friday and all we would have had was Saturday for real, for real to enjoy everybody. And then everybody was leaving on Sunday. So I didn't want to do that. The point of us going to the trip was to spend all the days with our cousins. Bad enough, we were already traveling on that Thursday. We was going to get that Thursday night, you know, so we would have missed, you know, everyone coming to the house and whatnot. So... We were heated, like we didn't want to hear none of that. We didn't want to hear anything. Of course, they don't process the refunds and everything at the airport. So she gave us a number to call. We had to do all of that, process the claim. It was a whole lot, a lot of. So we just decided to go home. That was pretty much what happened after the trip. Um, I didn't, I didn't want to record. I knew in that moment I should have been recording just so you guys can like, you know, kind of get where I was coming from and really see how everything happened and how everything unfolded in real time but I was just heated like I wasn't thinking about none of that I just wanted to I wanted to go I wanted to go to North Carolina I wanted to go to North Carolina really really bad because I really wanted to get content for you guys I wanted to vlog the cousin trip because we had so much stuff planned and I just wanted to get all of that you know on camera and I wanted to show you guys like hey you know this lit thing that me and my female cousins that we do and it was just like completely ruined. It was completely taken from me because of the storm. And I mean, I can't be mad because there's nothing I can do about it, but I can be irritated and I was irritated, <laughs> but we made it home safe. Um, and that's really all that matters. As long as everyone was safe, my cousins were safe and I'm glad I'm forever thankful for that. That we weren't stuck elsewhere. Um, I know you guys have been waiting for this vlog for a long time. <laughs> I'm sorry y'all. I've just been. I have to get back on it. I'm getting back on it. I'm getting back into it. So definitely be on the lookout for more vlogs. I hope you guys enjoyed the Jamaica vlog. I'm definitely going back. I'm thinking about going back for my birthday. I'm not sure yet. But I definitely have to go back to Jamaica and redo it. Because it just. I, did, I just didn't do enough. I didn't do enough. I didn't do you know everything that I wanted to do. So I'm definitely going to go back 
redo. We're going to do a Jamaica 2.0, okay, and do it the way it's supposed to be done for real, for real. <laughs> But like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and most importantly, subscribe to my channel. Turn on your post notifications so you will be notified every time I drop another video. And I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Peace.